Last weekend, a design studio called Nuevo Tokyo showcased a novel camera concept they've been working on called the Viewfinder. I'm excited to talk about it because I think it represents a truly innovative addition to the current camera offerings on the market. In my opinion, the creativity of the camera market has stagnated in the past five years or so. The trend seems to have been to just push out higher megapixel cameras with faster autofocus and better technical specifications. I haven't seen a truly unique or exciting camera launched in recent years until now. Nuevo Tokyo is a design studio that's been working on turning a crazy concept of a bendable panoramic OLED camera into reality. From an initial design sketch to a tangible concept, this video is a wrap up of everything the company has advertised about this camera so far. Ever since I lived in Tokyo, which coincided with the transition of film cameras to digital cameras, I've been obsessed with Japanese digicams. My first exposure, pun intended, was when I first learned to shoot on a Sony Mavica floppy disk camera. Since then, I've continued to be impressed by how Japanese companies endlessly pushed the boundaries of what I thought was possible in a digital camera. Over the years, this admiration has translated into me collecting some memorable, rare cameras that I'll share on my channel soon. In December of last year, around the holidays, I randomly opened the Threads app as Instagram was recommending a page called Nuevo Tokyo. I was immediately intrigued when I saw the concept for the viewfinder camera, and as a photographer myself, I've never followed an account so quickly. Their concepts and studies of color palettes called Japanese gradients struck me as visually pleasing. I'm also a fan of the noise Lightroom presets they released. By the way, their black and white one is free to download right now. All these design choices, as well as the small updates they provided for the viewfinder, really built my anticipation for the Kadeen Showcase event they held this past weekend. What originally set the concept apart for me was the fact that the camera had a rounded industrial design with a flexible OLED that matched the camera shape. Something that for the first time mimics the aesthetic of a film reel in a camera. Furthermore, the panoramic aspect reminded me of the Lomography camera I once had that shot in a very similar style. However, since this camera would be digital, it would give you the ability to change the aspect ratios quickly and incorporate quick pro controls into the OLED, which also looked incredibly clean and simple. Looking into the company that's providing this entirely new take on camera hardware, they've been around for eight years and state that they focus on R&D, concept, and vision design. The Viewfinder project was started by UX designer Alvaro Falcon and industrial designer Mireya Villa. The team later brought on a London-based engineer named Lucas Sedenfaden that developed the first working prototype of the device. As is the case with a lot of original concepts, it was mocked up in cardboard, kind of like this Zenbook Duo screen pad I made. The name Kadeen is a Japanese moniker inspired by the Japanese cycling races that occur in an oval shape track that's reminiscent of the camera's perspective silhouette. If you want to look into the prototype documentation and UI aspects a bit more, Lucas released an article which I'll link below. The functional V3 prototype uses a simple Raspberry Pi board and Pi camera module more as a proof of concept. Similarly, the V3 screen isn't curved like a final version would be, but it does show off the UI well. For example, if you swipe left on the screen, it enables a 3x2 DSLR style image with manual exposure controls on the right. Conversely, as you keep swiping right, it expands the aspect ratio all the way to a 6x2 X pan style that covers the entire screen for framing. There's also a dial on the right side for some slight manual tactile control. While I usually prefer fully manual controls on my cameras, this setup seems quite intuitive for touchscreen controls. The expected final specs of the viewfinder are designed around a 60 megapixel full frame sensor with a 35 millimeter lens and include an internal SSD for storage and mobile connectivity for photo cloud backup. Nuevo Tokyo will also design a proprietary magnetic expansion bay called Expansion Bay, which will use pogo pins to allow for peripherals like a panoramic optical viewfinder and a wireless trigger flash called Remo Flash. My take is that offering a companion phone app to view and share images could be quite cool too as it could make use of the average modern phone's ultra-wide screen. 
The Oppo Find X7 Ultra, for example, already has an X Pan mode, which has set a precedent for this type of camera app pairing. Well, I don't think this camera is intended to revolutionize a professional photographer's workflow. It's an exciting take on photography for an enthusiast. This is a kind of purposeful, intentional device that would just make me want to take it out for a few hours and go play around with a unique way of shooting panoramas. Admittedly, this is an ambitious project, and therefore it's really anyone's guess if this camera will in fact become a commercial product, but the fact that it has been conceived, engineered, and prototyped with skill and thoughtfulness seems promising and leaves me feeling optimistic. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this camera in the comments, especially if you were at the event they held. For future updates, stay tuned.